Dr. Amir Bedrikelo, Medical Healthcare Advisor for Light for the World and Co-Chair for IPB Eastern Africa. I have with me Dr. Jawad Ahmed, Medical Director for Eye Care and Rehabilitation, Dual Pindi Leprosy Hospital, Pakistan. He has been nominated by Light for the World as their uh, Eye Health Hero at the IPB 9th General Assembly. I would like to congratulate Dr. Jawad upon being nominated Eye Health Hero at the IPB 9th General Assembly. Thank Dr. Jawad, would you please tell us about your work, what uh, you did and what you are doing? Well, I'm responsible for my organization, Aid to Leprosy Patients, and uh, supported by Light for the World and CBM. I'm responsible to look after the prevention of blindness program at the primary and secondary level. This is in the province of Punjab and Hazara Division in KPK province of Pakistan. Uh, our organization basically is uh, leprosy oriented. It has it is working in uh, Rawalpindi since 1960s, okay. and since from 1999 we started the work of uh, prevention of blindness program. So I'm looking after the uh, POB uh, work, and about two years back uh, we've also included an element of uh, CBR, community-based rehabilitation, of which I'm responsible as well. So I'm looking, mm -hmm. taking, looking after these two programs over there. Yeah. Uh, we, we do know that uh, leprosy patients do have eye care complications that oh, yes. could lead to blindness. Oh, yes. And uh, is your work based uh, on uh, the clean, delivering clinical services, but also uh, do you go out to uh, do some outreach? Well, with reference to leprosy, I mean, it has declined to a great extent now. The amount of work that we have in leprosy, you can say it's around 10%, and the rest, 90%, we are just doing the eye work. And uh, as I said, CBR, we just started two years back. So with reference to uh, leprosy, I mean, it's, our POB is not focused basically on leprosy patients. It's for the general masses. It's yeah. for everyone. So with reference to leprosy, Naturally, we had the field element, and as I said, for the eye work, we had the uh, primary work, we had the primary level workers yeah. in the field and all, who are tra trained leprosy technicians as well. So, uh, active cases are very few that we have of leprosy, to whom the supervised dose is provided by the workers in the field and all, and then there is a, uh, they are kept under surveillance for a period of two to three years, to see if there are any, I mean, if they develop any further problems and all. After that period, then the leprosy patients are supposed to, uh, you know, report to the technicians if they have any problems. Yeah. But this is just with reference to leprosy, which is only 10% yeah. of our work. Yeah. So the major work is uh, eye health, professional blindness yes. uh, for the community yes. uh, surrounding the hospital. Uh, it's not just surrounding the hospital, it's the whole province of Punjab and the Hazara division in KPK province, in these two huge areas. We have, in various districts, we have our trained workers posted over there. Mm -hmm. They have a certain catchment area for whom what they are responsible. Yeah. What is the, your uh, catchment population? Yes, uh, it's around, you can say, it, it must be around uh, 8 million. 8 million, so eight huge. Million. Huge population. Yeah, huge population. Yeah. So, uh, the distances are huge. Yeah. So, uh, the way you work, if I understood it correctly, is uh, you have primary level uh, workers. care, yes. but also community based rehabilitation workers yes. who uh, would be sending patients to the primary level and then referring to your hospital. No. Uh, Maybe you explain that? Yeah, yes. Please? It's not our base hospital, uh, which is in uh, Rawalpindi. It's not looking after eye, uh, uh, secondary eye level work. It's purely uh, leprosy uh, services that we deliver in that hospital. Okay. What we do is we develop a network within the districts yeah. where the workers are posted and all. Yeah. With the government uh, district headquarter hospitals and all. And there are this district hospital uh, ophthalmologists deputed over there. Yeah. So we have this alliance with those ophthalmologists of the eye unit of those hospitals and all. And we refer the patients out, uh, from the community level, they refer to a primary level worker. And uh, then he further, if he sees the need to, you know, for the patient to be referred to the secondary level, then he aligns with the secondary level. So he's in contact with the 
uh, district ophthalmologist. Mm. So that kind of a network we are yeah. working with. Can, can you describe more uh, this uh, NGO government or private uh, government partnership? Yeah. How it functions? Uh, it's like this. We uh, have gone into an uh, MOU with the government. And we are working uh, with the government in this context. We have their uh, permission letters of various district education officers and these are called executive district education officers who are looking after the schools and the district health uh, executive district health officers who are looking at the health system as our workers are also doing uh, school screening for the primary and middle schools so the education uh, element i mean the officers of the education department they are involved in this so we have the permission letters from each district and that's an authority that we've got to conduct such kind of a work. Yeah, and um, I also read uh, something about uh, your role uh, in responding to the emergency situation back in 2005. Yes. Maybe yes. would you like to elaborate on it? In yes, uh, actually I was, uh, when we had this earthquake in the Hazara division, actually I was in Punjab uh, province. So it was set in the news, I got the uh, info and my medical director called me up and also I immediately came back and I mean it, it was a pathetic situation over there I mean I reached over there on the second day of the earthquake and it yeah. was a disaster no doubt a huge catastrophe over there our uh, first level uh, these uh, field workers and uh, our medical director they had immediately responded and gone to the site uh, I mean the area of the uh, devastation over there so they were providing all the medical services when I joined in then I organized our all our workers and all and then we provided first aid and uh, delivery of the patients because we had a few vehicles uh, al along with us and also we carried the patients all the way uh, where the services uh, uh, special services could be delivered and all and even all the way to Rawalpindi, it's around uh, 200 kilometers from okay. there, who really mm -hmm. needed some special care also. And uh, the uh, at the same time then, I chalked out a program with the workers and then involved the community. We got volunteers from there and we developed various groups and all. Then we all, the, I mean, we were on foot basically, I mean, yeah. just traveling. It's, it's a hilly region. So we had to, with all these uh, relief supplies and all, then we took them along with us and we distributed the relief supplies. We were basically focusing on the far, on the higher, uh, people living on the higher up uh, areas and all, who could not be accessed normally. But as our workers and uh, our work involves going on the top of the hills also, mm. it's not difficult for us. So we were quite, we knew the area locality very well. So we focused mainly in those uh, areas where we could deliver these uh, relief uh, supplies to them and all. And it was uh, very challenging actually, very challenging. And that was, uh, it took us a few days and then later we started a reconstruction uh, program. We uh, built houses, one room, two room houses, uh, earthquake proof uh, houses yeah. and all. For Primarily for our leprosy uh, patients, we, those were our priorities. First, we made houses, started making houses for them, building houses rather. And this continued for over two years, and around 315 houses we had built for them. Yeah. And then we had this flood, I mean, flood again. that was again, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, kind of the same kind of an exercise done, a repetition of the same thing. We are still uh, in the process of uh, building houses for those the flood affected over there. So your uh, organization is not only providing um, medical services in rehabilitation, but also emergency response, response that's, activities that's, in the community. Yes, that's yeah. that we started. I mean, yeah. initially we were not tuned into that kind of work, but yeah. naturally, as we were working in these communities for such a long time, yeah. and unfortunately, the disaster had struck. Yeah. And so we uh, we were left with no choice. Yeah. And we had to be over there. Yeah. So uh, what do you see as a major challenge for uh, eye health sector in achieving the aims of Vision 2020 in your area? In yes. Still, 
I think it's still uh, a negotiation with the government and uh, because you see in the long run we are international NGOs support us, our work mm. and obviously there needs to be an element of sustainability in such activities for how many years can this thing continue. So we are trying, I mean we are still struggling you know uh, to get into, to get the government more involved in such kind of a work and all. So that I feel is still still a challenge. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, that is along the theme of uh, this NINE's uh, IPB General Assembly. Yes. I help everyone's business, basically. Right, right. So, like, not only uh, NGOs, but government should be also uh, get involved. Very true. Definitely. Very true. Yeah. And we have actually, so I'm sorry, yeah. it's the political situation basically in Pakistan. That's uh, in, a mess, in a very messy st state for a few years now. Yeah. Now recently, our at the federal level, it was being governed, but now due to the devolution of the government, the system and all the authorities have been moved over to the, at the provincial level. Yeah. So the whole scenario has changed now. Now yeah. we have to focus at the provinces. Okay. Now it's no longer the center yeah. and the yeah. headquarters. Yeah. And all. yeah. So uh, we have been attending the uh, Ninth General Assembly meetings uh, recently. And uh, what uh, did you uh, take from it? Uh, what are you going back with uh, from this General Assembly? How did you find it? There were some wonderful uh, presentations and uh, I mean very useful discussions also uh, came out of those presentations. Uh, certainly, I mean it was a great opportunity for me to learn a lot uh, with uh, reference to advocacy and uh, networking. Uh, this is basically what I picked out from uh, mm -hmm. this assembly, yeah. uh, the advocacy part and how to go around and, and develop uh, more better collaboration and yeah. involve more players in the field in the game and all. So this is what I'm going to take back and work on more on. Dr. Jawad, uh, I would like to thank you again uh, thank for you you sharing your experience and uh, your uh, opinion about uh, the IP General Assembly. And I would like to congratulate you upon being nominated IHL Zero at the IPB9 General Assembly. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.